Okay, so I'm coming on here. Basically, just I'm just going to talk about being a caregiver. Okay, um, caregivers I think over over the years have changed because I have a friend who's tw in her twenty. She's just turned twenty, and is a caregiver in the states, and she's a caregiver to her great grandparents. Okay. And, 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 and I'm finding that a lot of caregivers these days are like myself. It's our choice. We want to do that. Okay? And, there's, and, and there may be a difference because what happens with caregivers like myself who want to do that and do it, your life kind of is focused around your patient or your clients. In my case, my parents. Now, my parents uh, are probably my friend's great-grandparents, right? Um, because my parents were in their 80s when they died. My dad was 89 when he died. My mom was 82 when she died. And my parents were not the, the, reg the regular sort of people that you know. My dad died at 89 and was working as a consultant. But he was working for himself. And he was, you know... He, he, he wasn't sick or anything like that. He, he died because he fell ill, but that was a short space of time. And that's what, what happened to my mom as well. They, they, you know, they were both young at heart. People did not realize how old they were. They, they, they seemed younger than they were. And, and their friends are of a wide range of um, ages. So, you know, some of my friends are their friends and things like that. And very, my parents are very social, very loving, very nurturing sort of people. But my thing was, I did all my college and all my stuff and came back, at, and I live in Botswana. I came back to Botswana because I said, and everybody was surprised, even my teachers and my colleagues were like, you're going back to Africa? I'm like, yes. I'm going back there to be with my parents. That has always been my dream as a child. I want to be there for my parents. They didn't ask me to come. I came on my own. So I'm a different caregiver. And so when I came back, I did work and things like that. And, but I was still, my focus was on my parents. My thing was, I'd rather be home broke and with no money and with no job, but looking after my parents. And, and that's how it was. I'm not your, 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 your typical, atypical caregiver. My parents really looked after me, but I looked after them. Monetarily, I didn't have a job eventually, you know, because I realized my focus was on them. They were aging. They were going older, still doing, living life like they were in their 60s or 70s. But there'll be the occasional thing health-wise that you're like, oh, okay, we need to watch them. You know, they're slower, they're, you know, things like that. You, they, they, you become the adult and they become the, the child. You, now you are the one who has to, to ensure that they are doing what they should be doing. The roles reversed. The recording, yes. The roles reverse. You become the adult, they become the children. I mean, you're, they see your parents, they still act like your parents, and they still, you know, command, you know, the, themselves and things like that. But you realize that y you, are, you have to care for them. You know, I was, became their driver. You know, I drove them everywhere. I made, I did not want them on the, on the road driving themselves. <laughs> no way. So I was the driver. I took them everywhere. You know, and I made sure that, and I was working at the time. I made sure work knew that I pick my dad up from work at this time. I drop him off. I bring him back. I, you know, I, these are the things. So don't, don't, don't tamper with my life. My, life, my, my parents are my priority, and then my career. Okay, but get, don't get me wrong. I am still doing things. I'm like a professional student. I'm, I'm still doing things on the side, taking online courses, offline courses, whilst I'm, I'm still doing this working and stuff like that. Eventually, I became my own, like a consultant. You know, I, I left the for, formal employment. And so my focus was really now, my time was, my world, I, my world revolved around my parents. Okay, I didn't care how, what, what, what my clients, I will service you, but my parents are my priority. I will lose a job over my parents. Okay? That's how I felt, feel about my family and my parents. That's the kind of person I am. The same way people with children feel about their children, I guess I feel like we, I felt that way about my parents. But you know what happens is, and people don't realize is, you're also trying to build a business as a caregiver. Well, today's caregiver. Caregivers like myself who 
you know, we are not, uh, what do you call it? We, we, are, we become caregivers pahaza, just out of uh, how we feel, okay? Because my friend, she's 20. She's looking after grandparents because that's what she wants to do. She's also an entrepreneur. My friends who are not entrepreneurs as well, well, most of my friends are entrepreneurs, who are my age, also went through what I'm going through for their parents. Some parents are still alive, some are not, but their lives started to revolve around their parents. It's just the, the way it, it has worked out, and it's just the kind of people that they are. And what people don't what people don't understand is they see they 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 they, they want to know what you're doing with your life. Well, I mean, what what are you doing? And and when you tell them, I'm my parents. I'm looking after my parents. That's my primary focus. And then I will do my consultancies. I'm trying to build my spiritual business online and things like that. But people are not seeing that. They're like all oh, the school and college this girl went to. Why isn't she doing anything more? Because you guess, guess what? My parents are more important. And if you think my life is coming to a standstill, no, it's not. I'm still doing things behind the scene. Uh, I have to keep watching this. I'm still doing things behind the scene. But because they can't see it, they're talking and stabbing you in your back because, oh, what is she doing? She's not doing anything. Uh, people think they can drop in and see you because you are not doing anything. No, even though I'm looking at my parents and I'm at home, I'm doing stuff online and I'm doing, you know, things like that. And, and so for me, I'm just, it, it, it's not like a vent. I, I just feel that people are not cognizant of the fact that there's a new type of caregiver is the entrepreneur who's a caregiver. And we can be caregivers because we're entrepreneurs. We work for ourselves. But just because we don't look like we're doing anything on, our, on the outside because we're building our businesses, especially if it's a spiritual business, nobody can see what you're doing. I'm an intuitive dream analysis. I'm an energy reader. Where do you see that? You don't see that anywhere. And my clients are online. So what does that mean? Oh, she's not doing anything. She's just in her house with her legs up doing nothing. But, but, but that's the thing, that's, that, that's the frustration. And, and people feel they should pass night remarks. People want to tell you how you should be living. People are annoyed by the way you are living because they feel that you should do more. My parents are more. Our charges are our job. Our, 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 that's what fulfills us. People can't understand well, well, how you're looking after your parents is, is, is so phenomenal or, 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 or that's all you want to do. Yes, that's all I want to do because I know that after they die, I'm going to move on and have to do that. So when your, your, your charges die, like myself, so my mom died in, died in 2011, my father died 2016. So now you're at a, a place where your, your, your main job is no longer... And you're still working on building that job that nobody could see. And what people don't realize is you've been out of the work world for so long. To get back in, it's changed. And being an entrepreneur or a spiritual entrepreneur, online entrepreneur, getting back into the workforce of formal employees, it's not the same thing. It's not, you don't even want to be there. You know, and even when you're there, it's not fulfilling your charges, your, the people you are giving care to is what fulfills you. And what you're doing online or what you're doing spiritually or helping people you know, ex uh, online or wherever is priority. But people expect that. You, you, okay, so they're dead now. So, so why aren't you in an office? Why aren't you here and there? First of all, you have to send out your CV. You have to go to interviews. And, and, and you know what? Sometimes I think people like myself, we enter into the workplace and people are like, nah, we're not hiring her. She's going to leave us or something. I don't know what it is, but they, they know that you are, you, you need more. And for me, that is it. It has to be a challenge. I can't go back to the same place. I did try and go back to the same company where I was a consultant. And I got there and I thought, this is not where I want to be. The same people are there. The toxicity is still there. The, 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 the thing I was doing... There's no challenge, you know, and people thinking, but that's a job, it's a, it's a consistent salary. Yes, I would love to continue doing it, but it's not fulfilling me. 
And being a spiritual person, you, you, you have to be feel fulfilled about what you're doing. You know, some people just work because they want the prestige. I have to keep checking because I'm using my computer because if you watch my other videos, you'll know. And um, so, so my thing is, there's a new kind of caregiver out there. The caregiver who's an entrepreneur, who's very young, like my 20-year-old person, my friend, and me. Okay? We, we, we look like the, I look like the regular caregiver. It's just that I'm, I'm, I'm an entrepreneur. And so when the, the, your charges die or, you, or, or your, your, your job comes to an end with your charges, you are now tr have to now start really pushing that entrepreneurial aspect forward and, and full throttle. Because when you have your charges, they're your primary focus. Your world revolves around them. And you have to, you, you know, there's no, and, and especially because my parents were 80, 89, 88, you, your whole world focuses around them. You know, so really I squeezed the little things I needed to do in between. Now, when I say squeeze a little, like the, growing my spiritual business, doing consultancies here and there online. I usually try to take jobs where I could work from home and, you know, writing jobs and stuff like that. So that's what you do. And um, because my parents were caring for me as well, it's a different dynamic. So when they die, you now have to rebuild and fill in that space where they were not there. And your business has to now be not su a supplement business, but now a full-on um, business. Okay? It, now it, it really is the thing that has to support you hundred percent it's not a, it's not a supplemental or like the side job of this now it's a full-on thing and you have to work to bring it to that and it's not the easiest thing and so people are looking at you with a side eye with a big eye the this eye the the comments are here the stuff is here like what, what is she doing now she should be back in a job but back in a job there's a whole process you know that and I've been out so long. When you look at my CV, you see the stuff I've been doing online. You see, you know, and, and lots of formal employment people are still stuck in the past. You know, they, they, they can't understand the entrepreneurial online business thing. And, and certain parts of the world, like where I live in, this, it is not the primary way of, 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 of working. Everybody works for a bank or a company or the this and the this and that. And you are coming out and you do stuff online. But my thing is, th th there's a new caregiver because a lot of people are working from home now. And, and a lot of people are working home, from, from, from home now because they also have aging parents or aging relatives or, or it's, it, it enables you to, to, to grow your business or, 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 yeah, or build your business at the same time, at the uh, same tandem, in tandem with caring for the person. But when the charges die or when, you, when that job ends, then you have to now... Find a way to build it so that it can take care of everything. You know, you're not having the supplemental income now. You, it's now your full thing because you couldn't, your business could not be so big that you, you couldn't care for your charges. Um, and so my thing is, it's just that how people just sit on the sidelines and are so critical of what you're doing. Are, they, are you not happy with your life that my life is such a big deal for you? Why, are you so, why, why do you feel that I should be so much more than I, I am when I am fulfilled in what I do, what I, in my life? How dare you decide that you have some, that my life is not as full and rich as it should be? Are you happy with your life? Why does my life have to be a, a thermometer or a GPS for, for your life? Look inward, not at me. And those of us who, 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 who want to care for others, who want to put our, line, our lives online for the people that we love or to do a job that we love. This is just food for thought.